What's going on, guys? This is me, Asin. So today, I will be showing you guys uh, combos for the Punk Adventure Synchro whatever deck, which I want to say is arguably in the top three best decks of this format. Really consistent, really powerful, can play through Dark Ruler, as well as maybe Forbidden Droplet, depending on the situation, because of Herald of the Arclight. It kind of acts as a uh, baby Dark Law. So the deck really has a lot going for it. But of course, before we get into featuring any of these combos, and of course, a deck profile that I will be showing you guys tomorrow, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If this video can get to 1000 likes, I will also be making a live stream on this deck. And now let's jump right into it. So combo number one out of, I believe, four. Let's just say you only have Magician Souls and Red Rose Dragon. Look at what you can do. It's actually pretty good. So you're going to be foolishing for the Illusion of Chaos, summon the Magician Souls. This is the worst case scenario, assuming that you don't even have any spells or traps. But if you did, well, that would be an extra plus two for you. You make the Herald of Arclight and then you special summon the Rocks Rose Dragon, search the Basil Rose Shoot, and then revive back the Red Rose Dragon, make the Shooting Riser Dragon, Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2, so you search Illusion of Chaos, and now you Foolish for the Fairy Tail Snow. Make the Neo Fiber summon the Jet Synchron. Either make Link Karibo or Relinquish Tanima, doesn't matter. And now discard any card, summon back the Jet Synchron, make the Artifact Dagda. And on your opponent's turn, you can tag out the Needle Fiber into TG Wonder Magician. Trigger the Dagda and then get your Scythe on the field. TG Wonder Magician pops the Scythe and then you revive it back. And of course, you can Quick Sync into Baroness. So not only do you sight lock your opponent, you make an Omni Negate, and you still have Fairy Tail Snow in the graveyard, but like 12 other cards. Well, 11 other cards, because it's Fairy Tail Snow and yeah, okay, whatever, you get the point. So that's a really nice uh, combo number one, honestly. It's just two cards. And again, worst case scenario, assuming that you have absolutely nothing, nothing else to discard, nothing else to send for Magician Souls. So I will take that any day of the week. All right, combo number two is absolutely disgusting because it's a two-card combo that can single-handedly play through Dark Ruler no more which is very freaking insane. So you have Emergency Teleport and Sandgown. You're going to be summoning the Xiamen and then search for the Foxy Tune. We're just going to assume that you have no other ways to like discard cards. So now the Sandgown is searching the Arborea. That's a level three tuner that you can still special summon even without being able to use its effect because it's an inherent summon. And now you're making Cherubini because you have two level three monsters. That's a really disgusting uh, thing to have, a really good setup because you can send the Aquamancer and then get rid of Aramisia. So that way... Since you never really use the effect of a monster that you normal summoned, you can get your Brave Token engine started. So when you search the equip spell, then you use the effect of Foxy Twin Pitch that, get back your equip spell, summon the Deer Note, and then use the Deer Note and the Arborea to make Chaos Ruler, Chilling 1, Chilling 2, revive back the Xiamen, and then let's just say that you um, that you mill absolutely nothing good except that you get at least one Light or Dark to serve as the discard for the Griffin Rider search. Look, so you can make the Needle Fiber now, summon the Red Rose Dragon, and now make Baroness using the Griffin Rider and the Red Rose, summon the Rocks Rose, search the Basil Rose Shoot, and of course you can make Shooting Riser Dragon now, Send Fairy Tail Snow or Token Collector or Artifact Scythe because if you send the Artifact Scythe, the um, Shooting Riser becomes level 2. So you can uh, sync with the Chaos Ruler in order to make the Cheng Ying. But not only that, uh, you, n you no longer have to make Dagda because you already have the Scythe in the Grave so the Baroness can revive it back on the opponent's standby. And Dark Ruler only acts as main phase obviously because it's a normal spell. And you still have leftover monsters to make Appaloosa. So 2 card combo that plays through Dark Ruler and... Still ends on Omni Negate with Artifact Scythe, Appaloosa, and Sheng Ying. Well, the Baroness is actually going to go back to the extra deck, so it's no longer really an Omni Negate, but it does protect yourself from cards like Call by the Grave or whatever. Not bad, not bad. Now let's get right into the next combo. All right, combo number three. I don't even have any starters, but I can still do a lot just with this hand. So three hand shafts right of Aramisia and Fairy Tail Snow. Not the best, but definitely not the worst. So I'm going to get my uh, Brave Token with the Journey of Destiny. Normal summon a level three hand shaft. That's usually really good. I guess the worst one, even like a level 1 hand shop would work, and I'm not really trying to pitch the uh, equip spell right away because getting the Fairy Tail Snow in the grave is actually more beneficial for me. Of course, the Needle Fiber into Red Rose, so I can summon, you know, Baroness using the Red Rose and the Griffin, summon the Rocks Rose, and then search the... This is so broken, man. And then Artifact Dagda, past turn, a Fairy Tail Snow in my graveyard with, of course, the setup to Sight Lock my opponent, and I can still make another level 10 Synchro monster, but I already had the Baroness, so I might as well just make Cheng Ying. And Cheng Ying is actually really nasty when you have Fairy Tail Snow because you get to revive back the Fairy Tail Snow Book of Moon, a monster upon controls, and then trigger the effect of Cheng Ying in order to banish a card my opponent controls as well as, you know, in his graveyard. So that's actually really nasty. And if I recall correctly, it doesn't target. So even better. <laughs> yeah, non targeting, non destructive removal with a Book of Moon, Sight Lock, and Omni Negate, and multiple hand shops with a hand that wasn't even that great. Yes, sir. 
All right, combo number four, and if you were able to stay all the way until the end, friendly reminder to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate you in advance. You have absolutely no idea. My hand is actually pretty interesting. I have Illusion of Chaos Effect, Veiler, Ghost Mourner, Jet Synchron, and Rite of Aramisia. I can definitely do quite a lot of the world is my oyster. So I'm going Rite of Aramisia for the Brave Token, get to the Journey of Destiny, and then Illusion of Chaos, get back the... Uh, Illusion of Chaos into the deck, which I'm going to Foolish anyways for the Magician Souls. Get myself the Equip Spell, and then I can uh, search the Gryphon Rider, Pitch the Equip Spell, and summon it right away. So, <laughs> this makes Magician Souls like an FTK, because I get a free draw too. Like, this is ridiculous. And I got Aquamancer and Joel and Logbird, if I recall correctly. Not the best, but I couldn't care less. Of course, make the Neural Fiber into Red Rose into Baron. Summon the Rock Scrolls, search the... Uh, do I even have to say it at this point? I'm, I always do the exact same. <laughs> and uh, I guess I might as well summon the Aquamancer while I'm at it because I have the Brave Token on the field. And I can make the Shooting Riser Dragon. This is really important because even though it doesn't really, really necessarily get you resources on your own turn in order to make your... Uh, kind of extend your combos because you can't really use the effect of whichever monster you're foolishing with the Shooting Riser Dragon. It kind of protects you from Dark Ruler, Forbidden Drop, and all those cards because Fairy Tail Snow is one of the best interruptions that you can have on your opponent's turn that really doesn't lose them much outside of like Call by the Grave and Didi Crow. Anyways, Fairy Tail uh, Shooting Riser is now level 3, sorry, so we can't really make uh, too many Synchro plays with it, so we might as well just make Artifact Dagda. And search or recycle back a Rite of Aramisia. Again, on our opponent's turn, we can do quite a lot, so Needle Fiber Tag Out, Artifact Dagda Chain, Get the Artifact Scythe, and we're gonna go TG Wonder Magician, pop the uh, Scythe, and then Revive back. And this is the exact same setup, so we can make Cheng Ying, as well as Fairy Tail Snow and the Broken Interaction with... Uh, where you, you make your opponent lose uh, 10 billion cards. So, again, we had uh, Jet Synchron in the Grave as well, if I recall correctly. We have uh, Chaos Ruler Axe. This is actually crazy, man. We were, like, super close with, like, a Brave Token card, let's say Emergency Teleport. We would have been able to make a Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss as well. And mill a bunch of cards with Chaos Ruler. So imagine how ridiculously unfair this combo technically, theoretically, could have been if her hand was just slightly better. Now, I actually showcased zero combos of this deck with the Theron cards. And there's a good reason for that. So I believe that you do not have to play a single Theron monster or a single Theron card if you want to make this deck good. Uh, the reason for that is because they add inconsistencies to the deck. You have to play a bunch of Theron monsters for the engine to work. I guess the best monsters for Therion would be Aqua, Plant, and Machine. But at the same time, you still have to play at least the Plant and Machine ones. Because otherwise, you're not really going to get a lot of uh, searchability. And obviously, this deck doesn't really have to... Doesn't inherently play a lot of these cards, unfortunately. You're playing a lot of Dragons, Spellcasters, and stuff like that. So the Therion monsters are just inherently bad with the typing of the monsters that you have. But like, even the best case scenario isn't even that good. Like, even if you do summon one Regulus, it'll still kind of be that kind of combo that you're gonna have to do with like two cards except if you get ridiculously lucky and your chaos ruler randomly mails like the Therion spell card the Aguro system whatever as well as like Regulus and another Therion but if you if you're that good at the game you must be freaking nice what can I say <laughs> but yeah oh and by the way one final thing I'm not playing the zombie vampire the rank 8 monster and uh, very uh, self-explanatory reason it helps the opponent and we're not trying to do that anyways that's pretty much it for this combo video. Let me know your thoughts about this deck in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.